up to a complex. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing my buddy. That's right, this here is a helpful programmable robot by a company called Elephant Robotics, in which previously we reviewed the Mycobot as well as Mars Cat. Now this here is designed to be an educational robot that you can program to do just about anything like this, and as well as use a variety of different functions from grippers and other accessories that they do sell. Now together we'll be unboxing this, trying this out and see exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your very own, check out the link down below the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Guys, welcome back to an all-new episode of Complex. Today we'll be looking at an all-new robot. This here is a My Buddy 280. Now, this is made by a company called by Elephant Robotics, uh, in which we've seen them before make a lot of cool products, but this year is supposed to be a little bit different, mainly because of the fact that it is a handy helping robot with two arms and a screen that you can go ahead and program to do just about anything. Now overall the idea of it, it sounds really really cool so if you guys wanted to get your very own check out the link down below the description and without further ado let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here's our packaging. This here's our box. Looks really cool. Definitely has a character there just kind of being happy about. Definitely looks like a My Buddy kind of feel. Now, it is made by Elephant Robotics uh, and doesn't really say much about it on the box aside the fact that it shows what it is right here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Looks like our robot's inside here. So we got ourselves a user manual. Uh, it kind of talks about a little more in terms of detail. Uh, let's take this guy out. All right, so on the right side here, so we have some accessories. I have a base station. So this is great to go ahead and expand on it, or if you're trying to mount it on a surface, that is one way to go. Uh, we have our power cord. Uh, looks like we have a variety of different connecting tools here. Uh, and then we have a bracket for a clamp. So that's that. Uh, we have some tools. Uh, looks like we have some screws and we have some more connecting wires. So that is nice that it does come with a variety of different things to go ahead and expand on it if necessary. Uh, on the left side here, looks like we have a product certification. Uh, and then we have our hefty charger. Whoa, this thing is actually pretty legit. All right, check it out. So this here's a robot. So to kind of give you a little overview of it, so you have this lovely looking screen here. Now this here's a touch screen. On the front, you do have a camera pointing towards the user. And on the bottom here, you actually have a camera pointing downwards. This will showcase what's in front of the robot. Now it does have five servos on each side. However, based on its capability of positioning, it actually can go ahead and maneuver itself in just about any way. Now on the bottom of each hand, you actually see sensors as well as attachment ports. And then you also have a bunch of different cable ports that you can go ahead and attach accessories as well including claws and suction cups and different things like that based on the accessories that they sell now as you kind of rotate the robot on the back here kind of showcase majority of the tech here so one thing you do have is your power button you have an HDMI port your USB port now I actually plugged in a mouse separately I would highly encourage this as the touch screen is very very delicate and it's a little bit difficult to use uh, you have different ports to go ahead and connect an Ethernet port and then of course your power cable as well now to go ahead and turn it on all you have to do is push that power button once like this and there's actually an LED that indicates that it is turning on the sensors will light up on both arms and then your screen will go ahead and start booting up to the main menu now essentially it's like a miniaturized computer so you could think of it that way so it does have its own separate boot up process in which I believe it's just running Windows all right so this here's gonna be our main hub so we have a few different apps one is my studio uh, my blocky and then my buddy GUI and then of course you also have your terminal so if I click on my studio here you just double click this and this will boot up the app so my studio, we're gonna scroll here and click on my buddy, and then we're gonna connect to it. And you can see the variety of different apps that they have for this. Uh, so you can kind of pick and play from here and you can download and update based off of that. So that is nice that it does give you the full function over my, uh, in my studio. Under my block, it's gonna be your drag and drop, essentially coding aspect. Uh, so this is your traditional coding, uh, allowing you to do if then variables, uh, mathematical text messages and stuff like that. So you have your logic functions, uh, and then you have your text functions, uh, you have your uh, function 
your executions. You have different things, including servo control, uh, gripper control. These are all the accessories that you can technically add to this robot. And it does give you the full functionality overall and specific joints and stuff like that. So it's just simple drag and drop. So you can go ahead and literally uh, find one that you want and you just place it like that. And you can go ahead and create your own uh, particular uh, coding like that. Now, if you want to go scratch, you can click on Python here and create your own Python code and then run it off of that by simply hitting run on the top right. Now, besides that, you have some other functions. So you have My Buddy GUI. So this here will allow you to use it for different kind of functions. For instance, if I click on the transponder function here and I hit connect, um, I can either do a LAN where it can connect to it via the internet for the computer. Uh, by clicking this here, I can open that up and then I can control it using my computer or some other aspect uh, directly connecting to the robot wirelessly. Then you also have a Bluetooth function, so it's similar function, allowing you to go ahead and control the robot via Bluetooth. So it does give you a lot of functionality in order to control this, especially if you're using it for like an educational aspect. Now, besides that, you have drag and teach. Drag and teach is exactly what it sounds like. If I go into uh, record here, um, I can release the robot. So this will go ahead and release the pressure or essentially the tension on the servos. And from there, I can hit enable to test it and release again. Bring it up here, enable, so hold it in place and then release again. And then if I go ahead and hit start, now this will be recording my function and if I hit stop and then I go back under play and I hit enable and I hit start, this will do the exact same function that we just taught the robot. Now moving on, we have our calibration mode. So this allows us to go ahead and calibrate the robot. So if I click on connect here, um, I can do a calibration test of each particular joint and then set the limits on that. I can uh, release the robot here and then uh, enable the robot based off of that. Now they also have tests, allowing us to go ahead and manually test the robot in terms of uh, each servo. You can see how I'm rotating that one arm there. Uh, and I can go ahead and rotate the waist as well. So it does have waist function, which is nice. So I can pick and choose based off of that. So it's nice that it does give you the full functionality over this robot. Now information will give us the exact information on the robot in terms of what's happening in terms of servo motors, as well as the firmware, of course. All right, so moving on, we have our terminal. So if I go into this folder here, for instance, and click on say demo, uh, I have a few different things that I could do. For instance, if I open this up in terminal, um, and I can pull up my keyboard and I can type in say dance.py there we are so this here is doing a little dance uh, based on the Python code that was uh, that was there. Now, uh, if I go into emotions, I can actually do the uh, facial emotions too. So this one's going to be called my buddy emo. So just kind of gives it a little fun expression. Now there's different facial expressions that you can use, but you can technically program this with the arms and have it do different movements, which is overall pretty cool. So it kind of gives you an idea what this robot is about. Now overall, I definitely have to say it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of different things that you could do with it in terms of programming. And overall, it is fully customizable. Now you also can add on accessories from the claw, the gripper, the claw, and different variations of different things that you can do. And definitely is a great educational platform. Now with that said, if you guys have any questions, questions about my buddy comment down below otherwise see you guys next time take care now bye bye